All right, so sexual reproduction, asexual reproduction, um, you should be able to explain the differences between the two using words like genetic variation. I spelled that wrong. Genetic variation, you should be able to use words like parent, offspring. You should be able to word, uh, use words like that, that um, you can explain the difference between the two. And so let's go ahead and scroll down towards the bottom where it talks about vegetative growth and reproduction. Reproductive growth. Vegetative growth and reproductive growth. Vegetative growth, and you can write this down in that definition spot right below where it says vegetative growth. Vegetative growth, um, we're going to say that vegetative growth is the growth that tends to happen between um, the stages of a seed and right before a flower starts blooming. So between a seed germinating, which means a seed opens up and starts growing the plant, and the flower starts germinating. I'm sorry, the flower starts blooming. Um, if you, when the plant starts making a flower and making fruit, that is called reproductive growth. So reproductive growth is growth from a flower and um, a fruit when fruit is being formed. That's reproductive growth. And vegetative growth is when the uh, roots are growing. Uh, so roots are considered vegetative growth. Um, shoots, like the stem, the trunk, the branches, those are vegetative growth, and the leaves are vegetative growth. So roots, shoots, and leaves. It's easy to remember. Roots, shoots, and leaves. So take a second and try to figure out some examples between. Go ahead and pause the video um, after these directions. Roots, shoots, and leaves. What's an example of a root that we eat, shoots that we eat, and leaves that we eat? So go ahead and pause the video and try to think of, you could probably think of two or three roots, one or two shoots, and two or three or four um, leaves. So an example of roots is um, uh, carrots, potatoes, ginger. Um, those are examples of roots. Shoots are things like asparagus and celery. And leaves are things like lettuce and cabbage, um, mint, uh, collard greens, turnip greens. Now see, if you think about it, roots could be a turnip the leaves of a turnip would be the leaves. So those would, the turnip greens would be leaves. So most plants are going to have roots, shoots, leaves, and flowers. It's just, it's where the difference that we're talking about here is what part you're referencing. If you're talking about a potato, you don't generally eat regular, you, eat, you don't generally eat regular potato leaves, but you do eat the roots. So that, that would be considered a root vegetable. A shoot would be like celery. Now celery has roots and celery has leaves but you don't eat those parts, you eat the shoots. And, um, oh, bamboo would be another shoot that you could talk about. Uh, leaves, we, we eat the leaves of lettuce, but lettuce also has roots. So when we, when we differentiate, when we're talking about these things, we're talking about the thing that, actually, that we're actually eating. Now, reproductive growth, that is gonna be from the flower, that's gonna be the flower and the fruit. That is reproductive growth. Now remember, most organisms, uh, organisms in general are going to be trying to reproduce. If they don't, they'll go extinct if they don't reproduce. So reproductive growth is going to be things like um, a flower turning into a fruit because uh, that's how they reproduce. That's how they sexually reproduce. All right, let's look at this video over here, this YouTube um, video. And you can look at these. There's an example of a pea plant, a apple plant, a pear plant, and a pepper, I'm sorry, pea, apple, pear, and pepper. Um, and you can look at how they grow from the flower to the fruit. You won't be able to do this on campus um, because YouTube is being blocked, um, but you should be able to, uh, maybe off campus or some other time you can look at those. Um, let's go ahead and watch the apple one. Now if you'll look, this, this is a seed growing a root. So if you were to eat the apple root, that would be considered a vegetable, but we don't. If you were to eat the shoots, or the leaves, that would be considered a vegetable, but we don't eat those. We eat what comes out of this flower. So if you look, there's a pollinator. Pollinator comes and takes the pollen from somewhere else and puts it on here, puts the plant sperm onto here, and then these will turn it, the ones that got pollinated will turn into seeds, and you'll see them go into the apple in a second. So this is the apple growing, apples growing, and eventually, the, the, the flower will kind of get overtaken by the, um, I'm sorry, the flower will be overtaken by the fruit itself. So let's go back here. You can see the same thing with peas and with pears. Pears are pretty similar, and peppers. 
these are fruit of that plant. They're not the vegetables from that plant. They are the fruit of the plant. So when we start talking about the amaryllis, um, the amaryllis that you're going to be talking about in all your other classes, the bulb is going to be vegetative growth. That's a root. The shoots, I'm sorry, the leaves that come out that look like oversized grass, um, those are vegetative growth. But the flower, the part that we, the reason that we like amaryllis is because of the flower. It's a very, very pretty flower, and it is reproductive growth. And it's on that reproductive growth that that's why we plant them, um, and they'll end up turning into a, a a fruit, and that fruit will make seeds, and then we can take the seeds and reproduce them that way. Um, but at the end of the winter, or when winter starts coming, um, the root that's below the ground, it's a bulb. We call it a bulb, kind of like an onion. That's also a root. That bulb will store up a bunch of energy, and then when spring comes around, it'll grow back from that bulb. So um, uh, an amaryllis is going through both reproductive growth and vegetative growth each year. Each, each time it grows and dies back um, to the bulb, it's going through reproductive growth and vegetative growth. Here's some example. Here's a bean seed. It's germinating, and the roots are going down, the shoots are coming up, and the leaves are coming out off of that. Um, 